What's going on, guys? It's your girl, Janiqua 8, and I'm back with another reading for you guys. So, you guys are starting off on a whole nother career path. You hear me? This is going to shock some of you guys. Some of you guys feel like you're not ready. Some of you guys feel like you don't possess the gifts that you have. But this is going to be a whole new career change for you guys, a spiritual one. All right. A lot of you guys contacted me about how to start a spiritual channel or if you should start it. This is your time. I'm so excited. You had to learn between a false tarot card readers and a real one. You had to um, realize there are false prophets and there are um, good ones. And this is also showing because this is not even a card out of that deck. This is showing me that recently you have risen above the drama the bullshit and all the spiritual attacks that was sent at you from the divine because see in order to be promoted to a spiritual career that means a lot of money comes with this 78 reduces down to 15 that means the devil in the tarot card deck you've defeated the devil all right you went through so much spiritual warfare that you now in your relationship with god is more personal you are no longer needing friends and family because those people were the one that was used for uh, your your training and spiritual warfare you you learned a lot about comics with this devil all right but this is going to be a whole different change for you like i'm telling you guys uh saturn goes into pisces all right for two and a half years, a lot of you guys went through so much shit that you felt like you wasn't going to be able to do it. You didn't have no money or everything was blocking you from being a spiritually. All right. And spirit is saying, no, you have to keep going, baby. You have to keep going. All right. From fam friends and family, everybody, a lot of moon magic. All right. But that also showed you how to work with it in a positive way. Everything has a positive and a light. And until you know that, that is the only way this spiritual career card is going to come out. Y'all never even saw this card. All right. So you will be entering a new career when Saturn gets in um, Pisces this full moon, March 7th. All right. You will be given the tools to exalt you out of nowhere you're going to be meeting a lot of people a lot of people are going to be coming towards you because your commitment was being tested on how you handled the things that was being sent at you all right you realize that your ego and your materialism only makes you feel separate from the divine and when you feel separate from the divine you feel like you're not you're not, you know, you're not able to reap the financial blessings. And when you feel like you're not able to reach your financial blessings, naturally, you get into relationships, you trauma bond, you do things for money, you fuck over people. All right. This is you learning. You had to be tested. All right. And this is your time. I know I talk a lot about Saturn going into the full moon. I mean, into Pisces this March 7th, full moon and staying in there for two, um, two and a half years. But this is showing that you learned wisdom. See, Saturn is karma, but it's also wisdom. So it's the karma that we need to gain wisdom, to learn and get to the next cycle. This is an example of you learning the wisdom from the karma that you received and took an accountability and released the people that you needed to release. That was bringing you all this craziness that was making you act out in such a negative way. And now you could teach people on that. For some of you guys, this will be a lot of money. Whoever is getting a spiritual career, your channel is going to blow up. Your views is going to blow up. If you have a channel already and you was wondering why, well, this is why you, you, you are receiving good Dharma now. All right. So this is for somebody that wanted to um, act on that spiritual career. You're going to have it. Tell me what I need to know about this energy. Look, success. There you go. Success. You was doing anything for money. You was kneeling down, wiping people's shoes, figuratively speaking, for money. All right? You didn't know what you was worth. People were just throwing money at you like you was a peasant for success. And you had to go through a lot of spiritual attacks, a lot of karma, to understand the wisdom that Saturn brings when it comes to you 
and your success? How far are you willing to go to degrade yourself as a non-ether being, as a God, for money? This is you understanding balance and an equal give and take that just as well as I'm shining your shoes, you should be shining my shoes too. You should never have to shine nobody's shoes because of some success that you are reaching for. All right? This is the this is going to be reversed. See, this is the six of pentacles, right? But it shows the sh sh shadow side. This is what you was doing for money. You was doing anything for money in the past. And now, because for some of you guys, you have to do it. We got bills. We got children. We got things that we are trying to accomplish. We got businesses that we own. We open. So we needed a lot of money. And a lot of people abused and manipulated our emotions because they knew we needed them to get to where we wanted to go. So now the first will be last and the last will be first and they will be shining your shoes because you showed gratitude. You was willing to get on your knees. to, to when, when, when I see polished shoes, I'm getting, you was willing to get on your knees and degrade yourself to make somebody else look better, to make somebody ego. You was willing to stroke somebody else's ego while you was dimmed down. That's what this card means, all right, for success, all right? And because they abused that power and didn't see the hard worker in you instead of abusing your emotions, they didn't see the gift of determination and willpower in you, and they abused it. And now they are going to feel like what it is to be wiping people's shoes. And then with this spiritual career, you're going to be able to, to show people to have courage and stand up for themselves when it comes to success. And not bow down to anybody that has any more money than them. So good for you guys. Spirit, tell me more. Some of you guys wanted to be a teacher. You will be a teacher of some sort. Alright? You got the ace of motherfucking pinnacles. You hold the power and the knowledge all right, you hold the knowledge because you it's impossible to be a healer if you've never been wounded before. And the ace of pentacles and financial blessings. This spiritual career, whatever you choose, however you decide to manifest it, is going to bring you the bag. Literally, the bag. Because you had to work hard. You have to, see, you know, with all my different streams of income. I still know the difference between, I'm no difference between me. There's no difference between me and my consumers. You had to learn that there's no difference between you and the people that you work for. See, a lot of the times people lose jobs and leave jobs because it's not because of the pay. It's how you're getting treated, being treated like a peasant. You are not going to treat people like that no more. And they don't want me to talk. And spirit is not going to grant you a big ass pentacle like this. This is longevity. Let's just see how big that is. Spirit is not going to grant you all of this money. If you still think that you higher or superior than your consumer. All right. Let's get one more card. indulgence indulgence you are going to be speaking about people medicating themselves with addictions all right lack of support this is the eight of cups you walked away from something crazy you may have even suffered with drinking you may even have suffered with overeating not eating or any type of addiction but you are able to teach people how to not overindulge into anything that they are too attached to or have not or not to oppress their emotions by over drinking. This is what you're going to be able to teach. Okay, because the eight of cups is you walking away from something you choosing the divine and yourself and you are following instruction because see the divine is never going to make you walk away from something. And not open a door for you. Alright. It just feels that way. Because you are living in fear. And you are trauma bonded. Alright. But the fact that you showed faith. Alright. And commitment. 
to knowing that your destiny doesn't stop in any relationship. You are now given the torch and the power. You have access to the knowledge that one needs to teach, to educate others. This is on a grand scale. When you see spiritual career, when you see rising above the bullshit, when you see all of this, all right, this is you getting a bag. And for some of you guys, you had a hard time at work. You wanted to do something like this so that way you could sit back and you could talk. You could talk the truth. Y'all going to be so fucking well taken care of as long as you follow the code of truth in, in, in my yacht. All right? As long as you continue to teach people how to not to overindulge in sex, temptations, devil activities, addiction. But to heal, baby, you're going to get the bag. The bag. Look. Look. This is what you're going to be teaching. To, to teach people that hermit mode is not meant to stay in. You learn your lesson and you get up out of there. Whether you got to get up out of there or not, you still got the divine with you. All right? Anubis. Anubis looks scary, right? Anubis is not fucking scary. That's the underworld shit. And it's till, and it's it's until you stop being scared of the dark, stop being scared and, and face your fears, you will always think something is following you whole time. This is a motherfucking spirit god. Anubis. You hear me? You over here in a dark night of the soul thinking you fighting your demons whole time. It's your demons trying to get you to know that they we they not there to scare you. You need to heal from something. You're going to be able to teach others to not go in hermit mode like this and pull themselves so much into a sucking place where now they face an addiction. But now they drinking and on heavy, heavy other substances. All right. This is you getting away from a situation to now your person is dealing with this. So this is not going to be for everybody. This is the ones that were scared to start a spiritual career. And now you're going to see all of the people that was interfering, your friends, your family, your mom, your dad, your cousins, your romantic relationships, whoever. You're going to see them experience the karma that they need to experience because they didn't learn the spiritual learn, the spiritual laws that Saturn brung. And this is you reaping the rewards because you did. And now you're, gonna, you're not going to have any interference when it comes to you enhancing these gifts at a grand scale. Because they are going to be too busy going through their karma. Alright, so we are going to see why this is here. I love you guys. Thank you for all of the support. Thank you for all the donations. I know you guys want to send me cards, but I'm going I'm to create a wish list so that way y'all can send it to me or y'all can donate. If y'all want to send me the cards so bad, y'all can donate me the cash. Go go look up the cards that y'all want. Send me the cash and then that's a donation and I'll, I'll do it myself. All right. But a lot of spiritual shit is coming to y'all. Gifts, support. All right. It's going to give y'all the courage because... Your enemies is going to be going through their karma. All right. So why is this overindulgence here? What is this eight of cups here for? Why is this eight of cups here for? And for some of you guys, you see that temperance, you had to balance out shit. You had to balance out your masculine and your feminine. You had to test the waters for certain shit. All right. Look. For some of you guys, whoever y'all left from this karmic relationship, because 78 reduces down to 15, that's the devil. Whoever y'all left is going to be experiencing this karma because now you got the will of fortune in reverse. The devil on a bat. And now, instead of healing, they are overindulging in some type of liquid substance, addictions, because... They felt to bring whatever that they needed to bring in your situation to balance. Because I feel like with this spiritual career, y'all might have been a hierophant and a um, high priestess, all right, to teach about relationships. But whoever you was with, I feel like is going through this. And if y'all not going to resonate with that, 
This is what y'all going to be teaching about. Y'all going to be teaching about how not to overindulge when it comes to a cycle being closed. Rather than just take their karma, learn from it, and heal. And, you know, they'll have another cycle. Why is this hermit here? I mean, why is this success here? The Queen of Swords in reverse. So, who else? This Queen of Swords, this could be a mother, this could be a wife. All right? She could have been the one because originally in the Tarot deck, she's um, divorced from the King of Swords because they can't communicate. All right? They too masculine. So, she could have prevented a relationship from, from climbing to the spiritual um status and now she actually was the result of you leaving that relationship all right because whoever she was in a relationship with she was treating them like shit she was throwing money at them just to shut them up okay she was making them wipe her shoes because she held all the money so now she is about to see and experience what not to do when you have a lot of authority or when you have money. Because you can, words are power. Words are spells. So that's who's going to be overindulging. There's a queen of swords that has did something to actually open up the doors for your spiritual career. Because she sent the spiritual attacks, but you rose above it. And now you're actually getting a bag. Because you walked away from a karmic relationship that she wanted so bad. And that actually catapulted you in a spiritual career. And now she's going to be faced with overindulging because she didn't walk away. The Eight of Cups is somebody walking away and not, and not overindulging. This deck shows you what happens when you don't walk away. And you... Your spiritual career is going to teach this. And she fell to walk away. And this is what she's been doing. She's been drinking herself to death. All right. And now the devil is on her back. And she's going to have to complete another cycle or two and a half years of Saturn teaching her the wisdom. Because it's not like she didn't know. She coming out as the queen of swords. These are mature people. These are mothers. These are grandmothers. These are aunts. These are, these are people that know. But what happened is they think just because they age, they're not open up to change. They think just because they're older than somebody, they don't want to hear nobody out. Whole time, them not hearing nobody out, it's fucking them over. The person that they, whoever the Queen of Swords was jealous of, that was actually rising above her bullshit, okay? Was the person she, she shouldn't be learning from. So the person she was jealous of. Was actually the person she should have been learning from. No matter the age or not. Because now look. She dead gone in a whole nother dimension. Ooh. Literally she dead and gone in a whole nother dimension. Because she didn't heal. She didn't heal that broken heart. So now that's why you see the results. Of one healing which is now gaining a spiritual career that she probably could have had and now she jealous of you and she didn't fulfill that in her past life so now just because it's all bad so now because she didn't heal from this three of swords and you did spirit is going to show you who's going to receive heavy karma for two and a half years and who's not whoever is going to have this spiritual career that got the bag all right and rose above the bullshit, you heal. And you will be having good karma. Dharma. She, because she didn't heal and walk away, she's she's wound up drinking herself to death. And spirit going to let her. All right? And she's been treating people like shit just because she had a certain type of money bracket. But now all of that shit is going to be stripped. All right? Damn. Damn, and there's a tower moment happening. Her house is in shambles. There's no work. She has no emotions. And the emotions that she did have, she wasted it on unnecessary bullshit. So now she's drowning in her own emotions. She can't keep anything together. Because spirit, the flame that she did have went out. 
And now she's stuck probably with a masculine on addictions. Because she was too busy worrying about who her masculine was passionate about online. And see, ooh. And he he might have she might have been a stripper or fucking with a stripper. All right, but whatever it is, it was dark. It was dark. And now the motherfucker is locked up. Probably physically or mentally. Dead gone in a whole nother fucking dimension. You hear me? Dead gone all over passion and pleasure. Temptation. Okay. All of that, Queen of Swords, for what? When this is a revolutionary time for us divine feminines. Now you got to be classified as a grown-ass karmic. No husband. Dealing with karma for two and a half years. Can't get your man off of any addictions. Because you addicted to some type of substance. And I don't even know what I was just clarifying. But we're going to leave that right there with her. Um... What is this three of swords? Oh, no. This is a six of swords. So they failed to walk away from something. They were supposed to walk away from something. Still the same shit. Heartbroken. And because, because they didn't walk away, just like the eight of cups energy. Because see, the six of swords is spirit guiding you to karma waters. That's why I said she's going to get heavy, heavy karma because... She knew how God worked. When the six of swords is here, that spirit gaining, giving you help to gain, to bring you to calmer waters. And she didn't choose that. Damn. That's why these people, these queens of swords and these karmic wives and all of this. See, because she wanted to hold on stuff and she wanted to stop information. Every, let me tell you, this queen of swords, whether she a wife or not. She's been getting bad news. This is the Eight of Wands in reverse. So not only was her spell work getting reversed back to her, every reading that she got, every form of communication that she got, whether it was from people, whether she watched it, or it was from the divine, it was bad news. And she still wanted to hold on to it. Whether it was bad news about money, she still wanted to hold on to her old ways. Whether it was bad news about the terror card readings, she still wanted to hold on to that family. Whether it was bad news about her lover, she still wanted to hold on to the non-existent relationship that she had. This is bad news. And because of so much bad news was coming, that's why the Six of Swords is here. Because the Six of Swords is bringing you to a mental space where you're more clear and she completely disregarded it and held on to the bad news because she thought she had the power. No. What is this um, hermit here for? The masculine in this hermit energy that is on an addiction, all right, smoke weed a lot, smoke something, all right, um, also has fell to stop going back to past relationships, past life, karmic connections, all right, bribing people, manipulating people because his man manipulations was, um, hurt. Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? You're going to be moving into a spiritual career because for some of you guys, you went through this. You went through this and you made it out. You made it out. So this is spirit shedding the light on what they about to receive and give you the encouragement and give you your flowers for you to rise above this. This is some hard shit to rise above, y'all. Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? See? See? They wanted to stop your gifts. They wanted to stop your gifts. They wanted to stop your gifts. But you still going to be successful. Aha! There you go. See? 
they wanted to stop your gifts, but spirit is about to bless you. This is on a grand scale. When you get the sun, baby, that's like, that's the light at the end of the tunnel. Everything has been cleared. This spiritual career is going to give you not only so much money, but it's re, it, this is repaying the debt that you had that caused a delay on your abundance. And they will be exposed for doing that. All right, so let's get some um, closing out messages. So Spirit, tell me what the collectives need to know. Y'all be comfortable. I said be careful. So when you get into the spiritual career, whether it's whatever, you're going to be tapping into different energies. Some energies are not going to be yours. You're going to feel like it's yours. You know, it's going to be taking you on a journey. Ups and downs, cries. You feel revelation. You're going to feel like so much power. So be careful, all right? Because you're stepping into a whole nother season. The money that you accumulate is going to be different. And it's going to be effortlessly. So be happy. But this don't mean slouch. This means stay on your end game. Every level there's a new devil. So don't think people are not going to be able to be, uh, I mean, trying to attack you. Because you're going to be glowing up. You're unstoppable. Look, literally, you're unstoppable. So, Spirit, what do, what do my collectives need to know? What's some advice? Mm. Ooh. So, y'all see these in reverse, right? I hope y'all see these in reverse. There's a divine feminine that is going to experience so much setbacks and crisis when it comes to all of her earthly possessions. And this could be an earth sign, all right, and a fire sign, all right? But there's a divine feminine that came out karmic in reverse everything came out in reverse all of that dark magic that you were sending all of that spell work all of those shadowy entities that you was working with is being sent back times 10 because you oh damn you sent out some black magic that you should have never played with. You done woken up some ancestors. That now is going to collect. Because Saturn is a debt collector. For two and a half years. Because you want to work with magic. Because you want to be a snake. And fuck up people friendships. Fuck up people friendships. That's crazy. Damn. Because... You were supposed to, you were supposed to be the queen of swords and set rules of integrity and good values when it comes to teaching about home. And you did the opposite. You are a liar. And you are very deceitful. And people should not trust anything that you say. Because anything that's come out your mouth is false. You do not know how to teach about any spiritual anything let alone bringing families back together because your house is completely broken and whatever you are calling a home is completely false and that is the hard lesson spiritual lesson you're gonna have to realize and face for two and a half years when saturn gets into pisces march 7th because you wanted to play with spirituality Lying and telling people you spiritually cleanse whole time. These motherfuckers that are spiritually cleansed from your lying ass. Even the kids. Y'all, if y'all shared a house with this queen of swords, okay? I need y'all to go spiritually cleansed. Or, or else y'all shit about to be fucked up. Y'all got time. Before March 7th, y'all got time. I fucks with y'all. I don't even need to be telling y'all that. But because I fuck with y'all, y'all need all of y'all, the kids, 
Everybody that came in contact with this lady, y'all need a spiritual cleanse because she did something to your house. All right? She spread lies and lies are spells. Words are spells. Let me tell y'all, y'all need to get away from her. This ain't, whether she a mother, whether she a wife, whether she a baby mother, y'all need to get away from her. Because the type of karma that y'all about to receive after and, and, and even before, because I know y'all been feeling it and y'all wondering why, y'all attached to that lady. She's been doing nothing but black magic. This is not good magic. This is good magic. This is black magic, my nigga. This is heavy. This is not doing, sh this is not shadow work. This is being, this is, this is dark entities being attacked and attached to you. This is not transmuting energy. This is snakes in your motherfucking garden. She was sitting at you to fuck up your friendships. And because this came in upright, Y'all motherfuckers better take y'all children, take yourselves to a motherfucking cleansing. Y'all better do it yourself at this time. The way she lying, I wouldn't even advise y'all to go and pay nobody. Because that's the problem now. Y'all been paying all these false prophets. Cleanse before March 7th. That's going to be your best bet. All right? Because mm, I'm telling y'all. Y'all didn't walk away before because she was feeding y'all lives because she was the matriarch out of y'all family. All right? If y'all cleanse from this fucking lady because her shit is going to be so bad, y'all got a chance to walk away and heal those swords and those lies that she was telling y'all, bro. Get away from her. Look, y'all need to get away. It's a family thing. If y'all don't get away and walk away, y'all gonna have to deal with this upright. If y'all walk away from that lady, y'all gonna be dealing with a lot of fucked up shit. I'm telling you guys, I'm gonna leave it right there. Anything else for this lady? For the Queen of Swords? Ooh. Y'all, she's been paying top dollar for spell work. Let's get to that. To the point where it's either the spiritual practitioners that she's been going to is under judgment and they don't want to take her money no more. Or she don't have enough money to give to pay for spell work. Alright, and now, all of her magic. For some of you guys, because that was the queen of swords, this is the daughter. This is the... the um, the queen of swords daughter. This is the page of swords. For some of you guys... This old motherfucker done got her children doing spell work on y'all. For some of you guys, you got her daughter contacting you. For some of you guys, you got her daughter spying on you and making fake pages. So she's under heavy judgment for bringing her children into it, specifically a daughter. So daughter, if you got a grandma, if you are connected with her and she's your, she's your mother, I need you to spiritually cleanse because she done got you in some black magic that you don't want to experience, especially if you have a baby or a new baby. All right? Like, I don't have to tell y'all this shit. But if I could save somebody from the shit that y'all about to experience for two and a half years, yeah, I'm going to say it. That's not fair. Daughter, this is the queen of swords. Let me show y'all. This is the queen of swords that is about to receive the heaviest judgment you could possibly get. All right. And she done use you to spy. She done use you to do some shit. All right. And try to make you believe that dirt, dark magic not worked the whole time she was doing it. And she dragged you in it, which is fucked up, which is fucked up, baby, spiritually cleansed you and your child. If you got children. If you got children, because if you don't, everything that you imagine to go good in your life is going to be turned upside down, baby. Don't let that, don't let your mother, don't let a grandmother, don't let anybody of a mother figure, wife or nobody, make you go through that. You got the chance to walk away. She don't. That's fucked up. Anything else? That's crazy. Spirit, tell me. 
Tell me what I need to know. Pride. It was her pride that got her in a way. It was her pride. And now her pride then got her stuck in another karmic cycle. This is 10. 9, 10. That's, that's karmic cycle. Tell me. That's fucked up. Look. Because she didn't have no patience. She lacked patience. All right? She didn't know how to get up out of that mental warfare. All right? Her relationship and personal commitment to God was not there. And she praised it. And I'm going to leave it right here. This is spirituality. She played with her spirituality. Mm. And now all her creative things, everything is going to be in reverse. All right, her solar plex chakras is down. You probably, if y'all see her, you could tell she's losing energy by the minute. But she lacked spirituality and wanted to talk about it. This came in reverse. Anything else? Yeah, see? This is perseverance in reverse. It did not come natural to her. She didn't have a nature spirit. Her creativity, you saw that creativity was in reverse. She lacked magnetism. So she had to verbally abuse and use her authority to get what she wanted. All right? She didn't have a natural spirit to push past the bullshit as a queen of swords. Synchronicities. She lacked spirituality and wisdom. So now this is everything that she about to have to learn the hallway because Saturn is unforgivable. She lacked all the signs and synchronicities that spirit was giving her. Look, but she rather listen to the stupid music. She rather to act like the stars and the, the shit that she was listening to and didn't embrace her own individuality. And she, now she got to, she got to complete that. Now she owed. Look, financial discipline in reverse. It was because she was living above her means because she was comparing. She was competing. Damn, sorry. Ooh, y'all seen what's about to fall out? Because she was worried about somebody else's spiritual partnership she lacked hers now everything is not going in moderation and all of her abundance has been stripped from her that's what i'm saying whoever daughter that is that she used to engage with whatever if she if she forced you to make a fake page if you said anything bad to the collective baby girl go cleanse Go cleanse, y'all. Please. You got financial dis... Look. Physical activity. She was trying to be so... Doing everything off of impulse. And she didn't have no financial discipline. Damn. 